Die too young. Hundred miles per hour, my smash is a good die young. It's a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long drive, roll on my own. I'ma be the bridge from the name of the stone. From the name of the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. From the name of the stone. What's up? Today's video topic is installing a GM style air intake temp sensor in your 1JZ intake manifold. But before we get started on that, I want to show you where I'm at with the 1JZ as far as getting it ready for the 2022 drift season. At the end of last season, I was having three issues. My cam sensor connector was trashed. My power steering kept throwing the belt. And then I was gone while I got 16 degrees and I threw a pop the freeze plug out the block. So I pulled the engine, fixed the freeze plug, and then I took the injectors out to get them clean because they've been sitting a while. So those are getting uh, cleaned right now. They're actually just getting sent back to me. I went ahead and pulled the intake because I knew I was gonna have to do some tapping on it and didn't want any metal going in the engine. And so I got gases coming for that. Once the gases get back, we're gonna throw everything back together. And then I got the valve covers getting powder coated right now to freshen it up some. So that's where we're at with the 1J. Once all that's done, and I get an electric power steering pump and get that done, we're gonna throw it back in the engine, uh, in the car, and we're gonna get it started. Before I get to the intake air temp sensor, there's a few things I'm actually doing to this intake. For one, my map sensor, when I bought the car, the map sensor was mounted on the firewall, <laughs> and it had about a foot of vacuum line going from here to the map sensor. So what we're gonna be doing is fixing that and we're tapping this hole to 1 8 by 27 NPT and we're gonna put our map sensor right here. Then the intake air temp sensor is going in the factory intake air temp sensor location. I have a step bit, hopefully it's big enough to tap the hole to a M18 by 1.5 which is what the GM style intake air temp sensor is this is a standard ax1 the gm style sensor so i'll put that in the link in the description in case y'all need to get it the from what i was reading the gm style just has more accurate reading and stays accurate and the one day they tend to have problems with them so that's why we're switching and being that i was building the harness i figured it was the best time to do it because from wiring specialties my harness has the GM style sensor uh, connector already. So we're doing, we're fixing the map, fixing the intake air, air temp, and then I need to go ahead and get rid of some of these vacuum ports. I have, you got like four ports right here. Uh, one has a really good cap on it. I don't even know where they got this cap, but it's really nice. <laughs> uh, and then these two are just tapped holes. So we're gonna go ahead and retap this one, this one, the one for the map sensor and there was a, a vacuum right here right underneath the intake air temp so we're going to tap retap all those to 1 8 by 27 mpt got my top my top sockets if you don't have some of those for your taps you ought to get them and i'm pretty certain this is 1 8 by 27 mpt all the threads already but they're just not smooth so i'm gonna clean them up all right that map sensor barely went in Now that all the holes are tapped and ready to go, except for the intake air temp sensor, I suppose it's time for the intake air temp sensor. 
So we got our step bit mounted in our drill. <laughs> Now that everything's tapped, I'm gonna go air it out, and blow it out as good as I can, and then I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all this up, and then come back. Now that it's all blowed out and clean, we're gonna put our three pipe plugs in. Go thread lock them. Third seal. The intake is now ready to go back on the motor. Got the GM style sensor mounted nice and clean. My map sensor is mounted nicely. It'll be getting good data now. Yep. So it's a short and sweet video. I appreciate you for watching. I hope this helped you maybe install a GM sensor on your intake. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And y'all have a good night. Take it easy. Peace.